Hello, Kauai. Here's our daily COVID-19 briefing from Team Kauai for Friday, September 11th. Happy Aloha Friday. Today also happens to be a national day of remembrance and service and Patriots Day. So in honor and remembrance of all of our fallen heroes, can we take a brief moment of silence as we remember those folks that lost their lives uh, during the attacks of September 11th? Thank you. The Department of Health reported no new cases on Kauai with zero active cases at this time. Our cumulative case count is 58. Kauai does have five new close contacts in quarantine. These are contacts of an Oahu case who is currently in isolation on Oahu. For additional information, please visit the Kauai Emergency Management Agency website at www.kauai.gov forward slash COVID-19. Koi bus drivers have been providing face coverings for passengers for most of this year, but supplies are running out. Masks are still required in order to board the bus, but drivers will no longer be providing them effective next Wednesday, September 16th. So please remember to wear your mask when riding the bus. As a reminder, many of our buses now have Wi-Fi, and more will have this service as new buses come into the fleet. The Wi-Fi password is Koi Bus. But in the future, no password will be required. Up-to-date bus schedules and additional information can be found online at the county website, the Koi Bus Facebook page, or by calling 246-8110. The County of Koi has established a new Kupa Koi Rise to Work program to provide temporary, part-time, and full-time work opportunities for displaced workers. It is an opportunity for both local nonprofits and businesses and Koi residents who are out of work. Jobs will start in September and will continue for 12 weeks. If your business or nonprofit organization is interested in hosting a Rise to Work hire and can create a meaningful opportunity for them to contribute to your organization or to the community, we encourage you to visit www.koiford.com dot com forward slash rise to work and complete the form for interested employers. As we work with local employers to learn about their available jobs, the list of job opportunities will be posted on the Koi Ford website. For more information, visit www.koiford.com forward slash rise to work. Our numbers remain low and we keep it that way with our continued diligence. COVID-19 is active on all the other Hawaii counties and across the mainland, and that risk will continue for some time. Dr. Anthony Fauci, the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, has urged Americans that we need to hunker down through the fall and the winter. We still have not seen whether there will be a surge in cases after the Labor Day weekend. For Kauai residents, we continue to recommend against travel off-island. If you must fly, be aware that the county and state will be collecting information to protect our communities. All travelers must complete the state's new online Safe Travels digital travel form, found online at travel.hawaii.gov. In addition to the state form, all incoming travelers to Kauai must also complete a Kauai arrival form, which you will receive when you land. It will be collected and reviewed at baggage claim prior to the leaving the airport facility. The Koi arrival form provides law enforcement with a traveler's quarantine address so that individuals can be properly monitored. Please be advised that police and National Guard conduct physical checks of those in quarantine. As a reminder, all incoming travelers must enter a 14-day quarantine, including residents and visitors flying inter-island, mainland or international. If you're flying in from the mainland and believe you're eligible for a modified quarantine, please email covidexemption at hawaii.gov. If you're traveling inter-island and believe you qualify for a modified quarantine, you can submit an application online by visiting www.kauai.gov forward slash COVID-19 and click on the modified quarantine request button at the top of the page. Critical infrastructure employees who fly to Koi for work must quarantine at a hotel or a motel. 
These workers are prohibited from staying in a private home or TVR during the 14-day quarantine period. For details, please visit www.koi.gov forward slash COVID-19. Time is running out to complete the U.S. Census, but it is extremely important to our future. Much federal money, including school lunch money, education funds, and food stamps assistance is allocated by population. Every island, every county, every state is fighting for federal dollars. If we are undercounted, money that should be going to us is going somewhere else. Please take a few minutes out of your day, fill out the census form, and be counted. The clock is ticking and the time to stand up to be counted and to get our fair share is now. Visit my2020census.gov and file your report. For those who have not completed your census online, a census worker will be visiting your home to assist you in completing your census form. Rental tenants in need are encouraged to apply for the recently announced State Rent Relief and Housing Assistance Program, which provides rent payments for Hawaii renters whose income is reduced due to COVID-19 and are at risk of eviction. The program is funded by the Federal CARES Act it is being administered by Catholic Charities Hawaii and Aloha United Way. It can help with housing payments due between August 1st and December 28, 2020. Payments are made directly to the landlord for up to $1,500 for Kauai residents. For information on the program or to apply, please visit www.hihousinghelp.com. Thank you, Koi, for being responsible. Your diligence is helping us to keep this virus contained. We thank you for understanding the role you play in mitigating the spread of COVID-19 on our island. Please continue to stay home as much as possible. Refrain from social gatherings or public outings. If you must interact with people outside of your home, maintain a distance of six feet of separation and wear a mask, if at all possible for you to do so. Remember, my mask protects you and your mask protects me. It's a sign of respect and aloha. Do not leave home if you are sick unless you're seeking medical attention and then only after calling your doctor first. Wash your hands frequently and clean surfaces often. Stay informed and connected during this time of social distancing. We'll continue to post updates on our official County of Kauai Facebook page or on our Kauai Emergency Management Agency page at www.koi.gov forward slash COVID-19. The Centers for Disease Control is also updating its website regularly. For more information, please visit coronavirus.gov. Not everyone has internet access or follows the news, so please help to keep your loved ones informed. Be kind, take care of one another, God bless, and aloha.